Over 55, some people stay strong and full of life. Others lose energy, muscle, and focus. The reason why might surprise you. Here's the shocking truth, it's not always genetics or better workouts. Many of those ageless people are using something that sounds almost too simple, creatine. But before you rush to buy it, you need to know this, for adults over 55 creatine can be both a secret weapon and a hidden danger. Most videos only tell you one side of the story. Let's talk about the other side, the one no one warns you about. The promise of creatine. Creatine isn't new. It's been studied for decades, especially in athletes, for improving muscle strength and performance. What's more surprising is that research from the National Institutes of Health and Harvard Medical School now shows creatine could also help older adults maintain muscle, improve balance, and even support brain health. That's right, creatine might protect your muscles and your mind. Some studies suggest it helps your cells create more energy ATP, reducing fatigue and even supporting cognitive function. However, these benefits only work if you use it the right way. Because when it comes to creatine over 55, the line between beneficial and risky can be surprisingly thin. Hidden danger number one, too much of a good thing. Most younger people use what's called a loading phase, taking 20 grams a day for a week, then dropping to a smaller dose. That might work for a 25-year-old athlete. But after 55 your kidneys and liver process supplements more slowly. Research published in the Journal of Nutrition, Health and Aging warns that high loading doses can increase strain on the kidneys, especially for people with hypertension, diabetes, or mild kidney decline which often go unnoticed at this age. That doesn't mean creatine causes kidney damage, in healthy adults, moderate use appears safe, but it does mean more is not better. For older adults, experts recommend 3 to 5 grams daily, without any loading phase. Hidden danger number 2, the hydration trap. Here's something most people never hear, creatine draws water into your muscles. That's part of how it helps with strength but it also means you need more water than usual. If you're dehydrated, or if you take medications like diuretics or blood pressure pills, creatine could increase your risk of cramps, dizziness, or even mild dehydration. Researchers from the University of Connecticut found that older adults on creatine needed 20 to 30% more fluids to maintain normal hydration. So, if you're taking creatine, make sure you're drinking enough water throughout the day, not just during workouts. Hidden danger number 3, impure or low-quality supplements. This might be the biggest danger of all. Not all creatine is created equal. Some cheap brands include fillers or contaminants that can cause stomach upset or unnecessary strain on the body. The European Food Safety Authority recommends choosing creatine monohydrate labeled CrePure or third-party tested for purity. This ensures pharmaceutical grade quality and eliminates unnecessary additives. It's a small detail that can make a big difference in safety. Now, here's the good news. When used safely and consistently, creatine can be a genuine ally for people over 55. Studies from the University of Nottingham and the University of Sydney found that adults over 55 who combined creatine with light strength training showed better muscle retention, improved balance and mobility, less mental fatigue and sharper memory. That's powerful, because strength, energy, and mental sharpness are the first things we start to lose as we age. And yet, these benefits don't come overnight. It's not a miracle powder. It works gradually, by helping your cells recharge energy and recover faster over time. What doctors say? Geriatric specialists often note that creatine may be helpful for healthy aging, but it's not for everyone. If you have kidney disease, uncontrolled hypertension, or are taking diuretics or NSAIDs, talk to your doctor first. A simple blood test can show if your kidney function is normal. 
And remember, creatine isn't a replacement for protein, omega-3, or movement. It's a supplement something that supports healthy habits, not replaces them. The takeaway. So here's the truth no one talks about. Creatine can help you feel younger, stronger, and more alert, but only if you respect it. Take small daily doses, about 3 to 5 grams. Do drink extra water. Do buy tested, high-quality products. Don't load like athletes do. Don't use it if you have kidney or blood pressure issues without medical advice. Used wisely, creatine can support muscle strength, balance, and even brain health over 55. Used carelessly, it can do more harm than good. And that's the hidden truth, the one no one tells you in those flashy muscle miracle ads. So before you try it, ask yourself one thing, do you want to use creatine to support your body, or to push it too far? Because at this age, smart aging always beats aging faster. It's not about chasing youth, it's about staying strong, clear-minded, and confident in your own body. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more practical, science-backed tips to stay strong and age well.